Animating a flip or car accident or doing these physical stuff even with motion capture is so hard to do. For Christ's sake, I don't have any vertical wind tunnel like this one. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Easy, tiger. Oh, okay. I'm so impressed, honestly. So, in this video, we will try to simplify this thing. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. This video, it's all about the next generation of Mocha X. For those who don't know what the heck is Mocha X, it's easy to explain honestly. Mocha X, it's amazing digital asset. It's designed in a smart way to help you to clean up your mockup data, you see? And it's simple to use even if you are a solo artist like me. You don't have any fancy equipment. This is amazing for you. It will retarget your animation in easy, just with one click to your Miximo or MetaHuman, as you can see, and you can attach these amazing stuff to it. You see that? And this is the short version. If you want the full version of this, you can see this video. And it seems you like it, guys. I saw your comments, hashtag MochaX, and these wonderful comment. And honestly, I'm so grateful for that, guys. In this video, we're gonna add exciting stuff to it. Let's begin. First, as you can see, we have our motion capture. You see, this is captured with Move 1 with one iPhone without any fancy equipment. You see that? This is our animation and let's bring it to the Houdini. And I want to do a flip, for example. I'm not capable of doing flip myself. So I will use Miximo Lab. You see, this is amazing Miximo library and I want to use this one or this one, yeah, we will go with the second one, and this is in Houdini, imported with a uh, FX character import. And now it's easy. We're gonna use Mocha X to blend between these two animations. So let's create that and let's go to the transition. Oh boy, not physics. I ruined the surprise. <laughs> let's go to the transition, and as you can see, we have this setting let's connect the first one the uh, move one the skeleton to the first input and Miximo to the second input and boom we have this error these two skeleton not identical what we're gonna do that <laughs> if you saw the previous tutorial we can retarget that with one click and boom we have our Miximo skeleton doing our motion capture animation nice wow and let me show you with bone deform as you can see this is our miximo character now our miximo character has our move one animation that's so simple now we're gonna use uh, another mocha x we're gonna layer them and we're gonna connect that to this and let's go to the transition and let's enable that and wait to calculate this stuff and as you can see we have this trigger frame and let me enable this visualization guide this is amazing guys you see that that's amazing this is our source and target skeleton and we're gonna pick a proper pose and we're gonna use this slider and boom now we have nice blending between two animation move one with the motion capture and miximo library that's amazing this is our animation boom so if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content share it if you want that will be so amazing and i will be so grateful stay with us we're gonna make our character fly in one click 
Okay, let's assume we have this animation, you see, in this pose. I want to add some physics to it and improve the animation. So, we're going to use another Mocha X and guess what? Now we have a physical animation, physic animation. And way to calculate, let's enable it in visualization 2. And as you can see, we don't have anything because we need the second input for the geometry character and as you can see we have ragdoll out of the box wow ragdoll setup is simple like that so yes in mocha x is so simple but let me break it down to you the first input need an animated skeleton why is that it's so crucial it's need to analyze and configure these limitation joint remember these handles Every time we need to do that manually, wow, that's so frustrating. And the second input, the character geometry for generating collision shape. So that's so simple. So what you can do with this, it's so easy. For example, you can create a sphere here and add a velocity, directional velocity force and RBD configure node to make it back and connect it to third input and make the collision to the active and let's play voila that's so amazing but wait what if i don't want full ragdoll for all joint for example i want my character get shot just in the arc that's so easy to do honestly you can select your joint in here and hit enter and play magic hmm, interesting what if i want to mix my animation with the physics ragdoll now case it's so simple we have this effect parameter you can apply the physics amount with this parameter what if i want my character dragged by an object so this is honestly simple you can select your joint on constraint in here and you can select your group geometry and let's play and boom so this is the interesting one what if i want to make my character fly it's so easy in mocha x just have a proper pose and you can dive in have a custom force and you can invert your gravity force and voila magic but of course the big deal is the ecosystem you can make the layer set up with this for example i have this animation i just move the trigger frame further and as you can see we have this ragdoll you see that's amazing so how can i blend that with my previous workflow this is easy and it will work out of the box let's create another mocha x and we can do another blending or another transition you see this is easy to do and just select your poses and as you can see the blending it's amazing but it's have a glitch as you can see it's not cool just you need to play with the sub step and blending frame and voila you see this is much much better wow that's amazing and guess what at the end just with one click you can transfer this animation to the meta human so i try to impress you guys sorry about this hit but yeah this is mocha x 0.2 it's available on my patreon if you're interested and this is amazing lifetime investment without any licensing if you purchase that it's yours for the lifetime and big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys i appreciate your support see ya